What is up Comic Ventures? Zach here with another great video for you guys. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I like to bring you guys fresh comic related content as well as show you everything nerdy that we do anywhere we go. In this video, I'm actually going to show you guys a submission uh, for a reholder to CGC. So I have a book here that you may have recognized from one of my previous videos talking about Raw Comics versus Slab Comics and I actually mentioned that I have to send this book to CGC for a reholder and I'm actually going to be doing that today and showing you guys step by step the process including how to package it for shipping, how to use CGC's website and make sure that you guys are all set for that. So once again, thank you guys for joining me in another video. Make sure that you like this video and if you're not, subscribe so that you guys don't miss any of my content in the future. Without further ado, let's get to it. I'm really excited. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you right here on my laptop how I submit my book for a reholder. You can see me here on cgccomics.com. I'm gonna click on my submissions and scroll down to comics and magazines and click on online forms. So right here, it's gonna ask me what type of submission I have and I'm gonna click comic of course. And then right here you have all of these options to send your book in. Of course, I'm doing a reholder, so I'm gonna click there. It's going to give you this online waiver. I never read these. It's up to you. Um, probably should read those. So right here, you have two options. You have these information boxes that are going to populate automatically if you click on certification number and you type in the certification of your book. Or as you see me doing here, you can fill in the boxes one by one. And either way works, honestly. Um, it's easier to just type in the certification number, but I'm just showing you both ways. You'll see after I finish the number, it'll populate it automatically after I click on search. There it goes. Right here, you can choose your label. So when you submit for reholder, you can actually submit for a new label. I'm going to click on the same one because uh, I love the label I have. My slab is just cracked, but I love that Spidey label. After you finish uh, putting in your billing and your shipping information, CGC is going to provide a packing slip. You're just going to slip that into the packing. Um, I do not have a printer in my apartment, so I will not show that part, but I'm going to show you guys how I package the book for shipping. So here, everything I need for packaging I have prepared on the table. Firstly, I have the book that is getting resubmitted. I have a scotch uh, big bubble plastic mailer a scotch mailing box, and I'll tell you the dimensions of both, bubble wrap, tape, and scissors. So this is everything I need to make sure that the book is securely shipped and there's no extra damage happening to it uh, while it's on its way to CGC. So we're gonna start by putting the slab into this big bubble plastic mailer. I got this from Target. I think it was about maybe less than $3. It was like two something. It's really great. It's got some bubble wrap already in it and I love the size of these bubbles. The dimensions are about 25 by 36 centimeters. So it's a little bit larger than what the slab is so that you're not smushing your slab in there. So we're gonna slide that in. You can see here there's maybe like an inch of space between the slab and the edges of the packing, and that's what you want. I'm gonna do that. And tape it down. So that has a self sewing enclosure. And so the book is already well protected in here, but I like to go the extra mile because in this box, there's a lot of extra space after you put the book in. And this box actually fits the book and the package perfectly. That's why I love this. I also got this from Target. And so you can see there, it's about 14 by 10 inches. Scotch mailing box. I think it was around the same price, around $3 or so. I could take extra bubble wrap and vertically wrap the book as such. 
with some tape. It doesn't matter which tape you use. I know some people love this blue painter's tape. That's why I have it here. But I actually, I don't, I don't really care whichever one you use. I prefer the uh, packing tape. Down. Got another slice. Yeah, this is a longer slice. And I have to go horizontally now, so I like to just wrap the clip here. Um, so now there's a lot of space that's kind of covered in bubble wrap. After that, slide the book in. Like I said, it fits perfectly in here. It's really well protected. If you have a little bit more bubble wrap, if you're a little bit more prepared than me, you have a little bit more bubble wrap, and you can, you know, go the extra mile and make sure like the box is totally, totally filled up with bubble wrap. But uh, in this case, it's not necessary because the book is very well protected. And then this is the step that I cannot do here because I don't have the printer. I'm gonna put the packing slip on top here. All right. So after that, I would close the box. Put my shipping label on here. We're all set. Comic family, I hope that you found this video useful. I definitely needed this video when I was looking up how to ship my books out for a reholder because there weren't a lot of videos about shipping slabs. There were a lot of videos about shipping raw books. So whether you are shipping a slab to make a sale or you're shipping a slab to get reholdered or you want to get a cool new label on your book, I hope that you found this very useful. I hope that you guys are liking this video and you stay subscribed so you don't miss any more of my content in the near future. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.